Welcome to Shore Perspectives, a community feature of WESR Radio, highlighting the spirit of the shore from those who call it home. I would like to take this time to thank all county staff. I see many department heads here tonight, and I would ask you on my request that you thank each and every single individual county employee uh, as soon as you can. It has been my distinct honor and pleasure to have served Accomack County for the last 20 years. During that time, many accomplishments have been made by this board and boards that were previously sitting. <clears throat> I have been just amazed to have my hand in these accomplishments. It has been the work of a lifetime to serve Accomack County. On Wednesday morning, my phone began to light up and it didn't go black until well after 10 o'clock that night. Calls from people in Accomack County, Northampton County, Tangier, people from Tangier took the time to call and say they were sorry to hear of the election results, but they were so glad that I was able to help them with issues and problems that they had in their community. Wednesday was the most humbling and emotional day I've ever spent in my life. Hearing comments from Delegate Bloxham, Senator Lewis, members of the Northampton County Board of Supervisors, my fellow board members and citizens from the county. Words can just not express how I felt and how I feel today as a career, a lifetime, has come to a close. I thank each and every one of you from the bottom of my heart. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Thank you, Mr. Wolf. Mr. Mueller. Uh, yes, thank you, Mr. Chairman. Um, <clears throat> uh, I would like to make a, a few remarks about <coughs> our governing body, the Accomack County Board of Supervisors. Two words come to my mind, civility and respect. The, there are nine different viewpoints on this board, three major political outlooks, yet we are able to do the business of our county government without rancor or anger. We take a vote, majority wins, then on to the next item, civility and respect. The U.S. Congress actually could take a lesson from us. <laughs> I've served on this board for almost eight years now. And to paraphrase an old soldier, old supervisors never die. <laughs> they just fade away. Thanks for the ride. <laughs> thank you, Mr. I yield Rilly. back. Thank you, Mr. Rilly. Mr. Rilly. Ms. Johnson? No Mr. Phillips? Yeah, thank you. Um, much along the lines of Mr. Wolf and, and Mr. Muley, I'd just like to thank everyone, each and every employee, my fellow board members, current and past, and and the citizens, you know, for putting trust in me for eight years to, to be their voice here in ACMAC. And uh, it's been a great honor it's been a pleasure you know I'd, I've made eight new friends that I've never what's that from you <laughs> <laughs> I, I would have already been he was already on the fire but I've made more friends that probably would have never the happened. truth comes out <laughs> yeah, would have never happened had I not you know been elected to this board eight years ago and it's been a great honor and I thank each and every one of you all the staff and all the citizens thank you thank you Ms. Phillips and and to the three of you, Mr. Wolf, Mr. Muley, Mr. Phillips, it's been a pleasure. 
for me to work with you all, and I think I can speak for the for the uh, the rest of the board. And I want to say that the, uh, the three of you have represented your district extremely well, extremely well. You fought for them and you delivered for them, and it's been indeed a pleasure to work with the three of you. And and unfortunately, when when you get to know people like we get to know one another, you become a family. And to lose you three is like losing a member of the family. But uh, but thank you all for your service. For Shore Perspectives and WESR Radio, I'm Kelly Gaskell.